Hi everybody, this video is going to be covering our directed drawing that we did for Mother's Day on our Zoom meeting. So if you were unable to attend or you missed a step, I'm going to be walking you through the steps again here um, on this video so you can see how to create that flower vase for your mom to give her on Mother's Day, which is Sunday. Okay, so first thing you need is a blank piece of paper, like so. You need a pencil or a marker or something to write with and we're gonna go through these steps together. Here we go. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to make a tall rectangle on the bottom of your page. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna move this camera a little bit. I'm gonna draw a straight line down, stop, bump out, stop, all the way up and stop, and connect it like so. So go ahead and draw your rectangle on the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna do after you have your rectangle on the bottom of your page is you're going to draw three circles, just like so. One, two, and three. Three circles. Okay, step number three is you're going to connect the circles to the rectangle. So I'm going to draw straight lines from my circle to my rectangle. Straight line down, straight line down. Got it just like that. So you have your three circles and they're going into your vase. Now you're going to be doing your curlies. I like to call them curlies. You're going to make some big ones. One two, like so. And now I'm going to do my small, my um, smaller cur curlies. They're kind of like C's, the, um, the letter C. Like so. And then we're going to do on our last circle, maybe bigger ones, big leaves or big um, petals, I should say. Okay, so now you have your flowers and they're inside of your vase. Now we're gonna decorate our vase to give it a little something. We're gonna do some curls going up, down, up, down, kind of like, like loop-de-loos. We'll do our next one down here. Up, down, up, down. And our last one on the bottom. Up, down, up, down. Just like that. Perfect, looking good. So now we're gonna write that message on top. I love you. So those three words. First we do our super eye. Super eye is a straight line down, hat on top, shoes on the bottom. I, we put our space, space out those words, and we're gonna write love, L, O, V, E, love. And our last word, let's read it again from the beginning. I love you. So we're gonna write Y-O-U, Y-O-U spells you, you, you. You. I love you. And we're gonna put that exclamation mark, squeeze it in, to show that we're excited to say that to our mom. I love you. So now at home what you can do is using your crayons or your markers that you have, um, you can fill in the colors in the flowers like I did here on my, my first example. I used green for my vase and I used some browns and yellows and pinks and purples to draw or to color in my flowers. So you can use maybe some of your mom's favorite colors at home to color in the flowers. So once you're finished with this, fold it up, kind of like a little letter. I would just fold it nice in half, like so. And it becomes a nice gift that you can give your mom for Mother's Day. Remember, Mother's Day isn't until Sunday, so you won't give it to her on um, today or tomorrow, but on Sunday, Sunday, okay? And then when it's time to give it to her, you make sure you give her big hugs and tell her thank you 
how awesome she is for everything that she is doing for you guys right now, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing some of those um, pictures too that you made for your mom. If you wanna post them and send them to me on Remind, I would love to see them, okay?